It's all happening down at North Melbourne. The Walsh report was handed down in the last 24 hours to the uh, uh, to Sonia Hood and her board. And I can tell you, basically, um, there's the minutia that Jeff Walsh has put into fixing up around the club. But the, the, the guts of it has already happened. And that was to change the coach. Mm. That was well, it. Well, well, it was obviously a clear mandate out of the report because we didn't even wait for the report to be tabled, did we? Like, it went, it went informally, and the crux of it was we need to replace the coach, and, and that's exactly what happened. Surely there's got to be more to it, though, Ed. Then it's just, oh, just... There's more to it, yeah. but, the, but the main item has already been enacted, yeah. so don't expect any fireworks when, when it is tabled. There's more into it, but there are, there are more fireworks happening. I can tell you exclusively tonight on Footy Classified that former North Melbourne champion player, um, shareholder and the uh, uh, chairman of selectors during the Pagan era, Mark Dawson, has asked the North Melbourne board to provide him two spots for himself and for former marketing director and the son and grandson of former North Melbourne presidents, Francis Trainer. Now, that is a big push. They asked for four originally, have brought it back to two because they don't want to topple the board. They want to get in support, but they believe they have the support of all the past players, all the old guys, and to bring some footy nows to the process, if you like, of finding the coach. Now, the other thing with this is, though, Sonia Hood told me tonight that one of the issues they have is you have to have 40% women on an AFL board if you're going to get any money out of a government. And if you're North Melbourne, you need money out of governments to survive, OK? So they have to at least juggle. Maybe two men would have to go off the North Melbourne board for that to happen and maybe an ev uh, even a woman to come on. So there's a lot of things going on there. Well, and that should be not... relatively easier. I mean, what surely th there's kangaroo supporters that... A female that are experts in marketing, they're experts in... Well, one um, of the arguments is from, from the North Melbourne board is that uh, uh, Francis Trainer is an expert in marketing. We've got a woman who's an expert in marketing. Dawson, maybe, because you're an expert in football, but bring something to the table that, that we need at the moment. So there's a bit of argy-bargy to go. This, to me, I revert back to the Collingwood situation with Jeff Brown. We want X amount of seats on the board or we're going to overthrow yeah. you. So is that how you read it, Ed? OK, now, guys, I can give you something else as well, and that is what North Melbourne have actually asked the AFL. We've spoken about priority picks. They've gone on a bit differently, and I, I, I like the approach on this. First of all, put the board up. These are, the, uh, these are the, the, the points you get to be able to get picks in the AFL draft. So if you've got father, sons, and swapping them around and all these types of things, you, you can do trades on these types of things. So that's a rough guide of what we're talking about. Uh, the understanding is that uh, Gold Coast got around 6,000 points over three years. That's something that North Melbourne are looking at because what they're saying is you don't necessarily have to give us the number one pick this year but we want to be able to thicken the soup up. We won't get a couple of second round picks because I think they've only got a first round pick and, and a, number four, a yeah. uh, pick 40, 40 or something. Mm -hmm. So they might be able to get in that or use it over the next couple of years as they build and use things. So I, I hear that. A different way. I hear that but teams that rebuild, go back to your experience, Thomas and Pendlebury, they're yeah. You go Cochin and Martin, you go Franklin. They pick one, twos and threes. Look at Brayshaw, Sharong, two and three. Oh, I'm not sure the middle of the road picks are going to shift them out of their mind. Let's, at Lloyd and Hurd, get, give me elite first round picks. Yeah, it was Lloyd and Lucas in mm. your year. Lloyd and changed, Lucas. Changed well, the whole... And Hurd, he was pick 75. I, I would be saying uh, would pick one, and I think you can do that with those. First, that pick one at the, in the draft, pick one in the rookie draft and in the mid-season draft and you can muck around with that and you'll be able to put together a yeah. pretty good list. That's what they're asking or talking at the moment.